I say this without exaggeration. This is the most important election cycle I've ever been in. I think more is at stake. The lines are more sharp, sharply drawn in terms of how we continue to bounce back economically. Critical times that call for every bit of the 28 years experience Sander, known as Sandy Levin, brings to the table and to the chair of the House Ways and Means Committee. Among his victories for his constituents, the bailout of GM and Chrysler. We've been working so hard for this state. And, for example, the, the, the saving of the auto industry. Uh, if we hadn't been there fighting, I think Chrysler wouldn't be there today. And I think GM would be in real trouble instead of bouncing back. They're going to unveil the vault uh, in a month. And if there weren't a healthy bouncing back GM, uh, there wouldn't uh, probably be a vault. In the vault, the sales come from Korea because GM had no other place to buy them. We have provided monies in the Recovery Act, so in the near future, those cells will have been built in the United States of America. And we're having this battle over China currency. I, as I, I've been in the center of it as chair of the Ways and Means Committee. Essentially what China does is rig its currency so it's cheap, it's low, and the dollar's high. That means that our goods are expensive and their goods are cheaper. Now, we have acted in the House for the first time with a concrete proposal that will give those who are hurt by that rigged currency of China a remedy. The Democratic congressman knows there's an anti-incumbent mood among the electorate, so he's not taking any votes for granted. We have a massive effort uh, going door to door in our district, and I think it's beginning to catch on. It's also being, I think, driven by the, the, the extremism of a lot of the opposition. I mean, there really is an extremism that's gripping the Republican Party in many, many places. And they're saying things like privatized Social Security, though they then try to smooth it over. Uh, some of them are saying uh, privatized Medicare. Go over to a voucher. We give a, vet, a, a senior a voucher and say that's it. They're saying in some cases unemployment compensation is unconstitutional. In addition to the auto bailout, Levin is proud of the health care bill that could be in jeopardy if there's a shift of power in Washington. The propaganda is that we're restricting the choice of health insurance. Instead, we're expanding it. For example, requiring uh, uh, that uh, for for primary care physicians that people be able to secure it so there, there, it isn't a perfect bill but we had 50 million uninsured people in this country over a million in this state everybody who says repeal health care they need to be asked will you repeal all of these provisions in terms of kids getting health insurance pre-existing conditions uh, now children uh, will have to be covered for pre-existing conditions instead of uh, they're not being covered. You're going to repeal the annual cap uh, on, uh, on uh, the cost, on who pays for it. You're going to repeal not letting insurance companies rescind their benef your health care benefits. Levin is one of several Michigan Congress people now being challenged by newcomers. Republican Don Valarek is determined to unseat him. I think it's something that involves experience, but beyond that, it's, ex it's whether you've had experience that's relevant to your constituents. And I think when it comes to jobs, when it comes to issues of Social Security and Medicare, these are all within the jurisdiction of the committee I chair. For Democracy 2010, Val Clark, Channel 7, Action News.